Good day everyone. Welcome to the course CP Probe 1 Introduction to Computer Programming using VisualBasic.net. I will guide you on how to install and navigate the IDE and create our first VB.NET simple object-oriented program. The objectives of today's lesson are learn how to install and navigate the Visual Studio, the IDE for our VB.NET programming, and how to create and save our first VB.NET program. Before we will start on the installation of our IDE, I would like to introduce to you what IDE is. An IDE is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. An IDE normally consists of at least three parts, a source code editor, build automation tools, and a debugger. Since we will be using the Visual Basic .NET, I am going to use Visual Studio for our IDE. So here, we will start downloading in order to install our Visual Studio. Search in the internet, Visual Studio community. Then, when you see these three windows, you select Visual Studio community for Windows. This is a free download. Click. And after having this download, click to open and install your Visual Studio IDE. Now, when we open our Visual Studio IDE, to create a new project, you have to click Create. And since Windows Form Apps is already the default, you may proceed by clicking OK. You will see now the whole IDE window of our Visual Studio. On the right side, you can see the Properties window. At the center, you will see the form where we will be going to design our programs. On the left side is the toolbox. You just click so it will display the content of the toolbox. After having a program or creating our program, we have to save by clicking this icon in order to save all of our projects. After naming our project, click Save. Okay? So now, I'm going to show you how to create our very first Visual Basic .NET program, Hello World. Just follow how we will start using our IDE in actual form. Okay? Here, of course, we have to create new project, then click OK. Now, we have here our properties window and our form and of course the toolbox. Since our sample first program is just to display hello world, we will make use of the label. Then try, let's try to change the text of the label into hello world. 
We have now our text, Hello World. Actually, we can run this program already. Click Start. And then, here's our very own first program, Hello World. But it's too small. No worries. We can adjust the size of the font using the properties. So we select again this one and we will change the font into a bigger size. This is 72. And we will move this the center of our form. We can also change the color of the font. Okay, we will change it into blue. There you are. Now we run our program. That's our Hello World, our very first Visual Basic.NET object oriented program. Now, after this, we have to save our work. Click this icon, and then let's say, we, let's name this as Project 1, and click Save. Okay, so it's now saved. Take note what happened. Our IDE will not accept if it's the name of the program is already existing. So we have to rename it Project 01, not Project 1. Then we have to close our IDE. So that's our first program. That's how we navigate our IDE. And see you next time around. Bye-bye.